Welcome to another OCD Recovery Instagram Live. I'm gonna be talking a little bit about panic attacks. The main problem with panic attacks is when you feel any sensation of a panic attack, you internally lock up, you recoil inside, you wanna get away from it, and that sensation instantly starts it. The second you feel it, it's almost like an internal reaction to the thing. Second you feel that sensation of a panic attack, you're like, oh, I don't want this to come in, and that just sets up the loop. And it's the same loop with uh, generalized anxiety disorder, OCD, any of these things. It's that loop of where you're scared that something's gonna, uh, has got a hold of you, something externally, something from outside has got a hold, is gripping, is in, is, has got you, it's gonna ruin the moment, it's gonna ruin the future, you won't be able to get out of it. It's all of that that's going on that's keeping you stuck in that cycle. So it's about completely letting it come through, completely welcoming it in, not trying to get rid of it, allowing it to do whatever, allowing you to be stuck for how long, allowing your heart rate to beat out of your chest, allowing your mouth to be dry, allowing your legs to tremble, allowing you to go mind, mind to go a bit blank, allowing all of this stuff to happen. That is the key to recovery from panic attacks. The second you try and lock up and resist, you've lost the battle, gone. You've got to, got to, got to just welcome them on, tell them to come on, tell them to turn up the heat. That has got to be the attitude. And you've got to mean it. You can't just say it, you can't just be like, okay, come on, you've got to be really mean that. It's got to come from inside, that you mean it from inside, that you want a panic attack, that you want to feel anxious, that you want to be stuck. Fuck it, bring it on like that. That's got to be the attitude with them. Otherwise, they're just going to keep flooding. And the same with generalized anxiety disorder. Fear of being stuck anxious. Fear of being locked in it. Uh, same with OCD. Fear of being anxious. Fear of being stuck with it. Fear of that thought being there. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter if it's a thought, intrusive image, intrusive urge, intrusive emotion. Any of that stuff, you have got to welcome it in. The second you don't welcome it in, it's got to hold. Anything you reject persists but the problem is everyone thinks we've learned in our life to reject stuff with something we don't like we try and get rid of it you know in everything we do in life you can look at online dating swipe to get rid of someone the other way to like someone something you don't like in life get rid of it throw it out whatever all different things like that trying to get rid of limiting things and that's what we try and do internally in our head but you can't do it in your head like you can in real life it doesn't work like that so you've got to get used to welcoming it in, bringing it on, not trying to get rid of it. And then we get into the habit of that with medication that reinforces the cycle. Yes, medication is good to take the edge off, but we get into a habit of it. Why? Because we start to taking more meds to get rid of feelings, to get rid of sensations, to further, further, further push it down and get rid of it. And that is not the attitude. Yes, meds are helpful for taking the edge off. Yes, they're needed in so many situations. However, often when we're trying to get rid of some feelings, we need to be feeling those feelings. That's the problem. Same as if you're trying to get to sleep and you've got insomnia, fear of feeling that you can't sleep, fear of feeling all of this stuff, right? Um, that's the problem. That's the, it's all that rejection. All inside, not wanting things uh, at different times of day or when you're with friends, not wanting to have a panic attack there or feel anxious there or when you're going on holiday, not wanting to be anxious before or anxious on the holiday and all these different variations, trying to get rid of it in so many situations and the more and more you try and resist it, in all those instances it gets worse. Do you know when the most common time for people to call me and book in with me? Before holidays. And what about other times? Christmas, summer, or weddings, births, all of that because they want it rid they don't want it there. They want to do everything to get rid of it in those instances. And for that reason, it digs its heels in and it clings on with all its might. That is exactly what it does because it knows that you do not want its presence now. And what, resi what you resist persists. Just a very short Instagram Live about those points today because I know they're so helpful for so many of you and you really, really want to listen to those and take those on.